Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick tutorial. So today we're going to be talking about the Perception Neuron Studio and Access Studio and this also applies for PN3 as well. So they've released a new version of Access Studio and if you go to this is Unreal Engine uh, you can see my MetaHuman. This is a brand new MetaHuman that I've, I created uh, using <laughs> the mesh to MetaHuman of myself. And so today we're going to be talking about the Axi uh, Perception Run Studio suit and this update right here, Axis Studio version 2.8. And if you click on here, you're going to go to the release notes. And one of the things that they've added, if you look down here among the new features, is uh, the ability to have a metahuman skeleton. So this right here is important. And this has improved, for this new update, improves the way the skeleton is handled. It's also a little bit simpler than it was before. So if you upgrade your uh, Access Studio to this particular version, your metahumans may not work right away because there's a new way that they've implemented and I'm going to walk you through it, okay? So first, uh, and I'm going to test with the newest metahumans, uh, make sure before you proceed that you have the, let's see, this uh, plugin called Neuron Live Link. It's a free plugin from Noitom and install it to your engine, comes in uh, for, for 4.26, 4.27 and 5.0, the Unreal Engine. I'm using the Unreal Engine 5.0, so whichever one that you're using, make sure you use that corresponding installation. Install it and when you're done, make sure you go to your settings and in the Unreal Engine 5, go to plugins uh, under the installed, make sure when you scroll down here that the Neuron Live link is enabled. And if you don't have it enabled, you might ask it to restart the project. So please do that. So those are two important things that you have to check before you get started. Okay. And then I install, I downloaded this MetaHuman from uh, going over here, going to Quixel Bridge. And under one of my metahumans here, I've duplicated one of them. And this is the newest one. So you download it. Like if it's not downloaded, it's going to have this little arrow like this one. Click that to download it. And I set it to the highest settings. Like if I click on one that's not downloaded, uh, over here, I set it highest quality settings because I use most of these metahumans for short films and cinematics. Okay. So this one is already downloaded and you can see it has changed the icon has, I mean, this uh, new icon has shown up. It's uh, export highest quality. And when you export that, it's going to put it into your project. And you can do a, a brand new uh, like project, or you can use a sample MetaHuman project. That one has also a bit been updated to support all these new MetaHumans. Okay. All right. So now that you have the MetaHuman here, uh, normally what I do again, I just go to my MetaHumans folder and find the one that have name, uh, downloaded with a specific name, like today we're using this one, just uh, drag and drop it in the scene, like so, right? And then just move it into place wherever you want it. So let's delete that spare one. We're gonna work with this one right here. And what's really cool is that uh, this, these metahumans, and I have a tutorial that shows the improvement. Like if I went to go to the iPhone over here, my phone was iPhone, and enable that and I simulate over here. You can actually see me talking and uh, the animation is working very nicely. <laughs> so uh, this is a, you can, this is the way for you to actually, actually be a VTuber is that you can use the Perception Neuron Studio suit or the PN3 and use the live link face and you're able to do the facial animation and talk. So people have asked me about that. Uh, how do I do my um, young Mutueza MetaHuman? This is a similar workflow. I use the Perception Run Studio, use Axis Studio for the live mockup, right? And then I do the live link face with the iPhone 10. So that is the workflow that I'm using right now. So let me go ahead and stop this simulation because when I use this one here, and uh, that, now that this is enabled, uh, first of all, if you don't want your hair to disappear, which is a common thing, uh, select your metahuman over here and go scroll down on this details panel, scroll all the way down. And sometimes it looks like this. Make sure you expand it. 
go to LOD sync over here and just turn this to zero. And I usually do just one over there. So now the hair is not gonna disappear, <laughs> right? So if you zoom in or if you go all the way out like that, the hair stays the same, right? And for this testing this uh, particular demo, I am trying to, I've used the scalability settings to epic, not to cinematic, just to give it a little bit more responsiveness. All right, now for the actual uh, perception neuron solution, to get this data into here uh, with a new workflow, uh, first of all, in Access Studio, make sure you go to settings and go to broadcasting and scroll all the way down. So we're not capturing today, we're just uh, streaming. If, you, if I were capturing, then this will be, you'll be using this to broadcast the actual live session, but I have pre-recorded animation. So that's where, this is what I was wanting to point out is that when you drop down the list, there's now a new meta human skeleton, right? And it works really well. So if you're not using the MetaHuman, then you can use Access Studio, but to make the MetaHuman work much better, uh, to also retarget way better than before, they've imp uh, included a new MetaHuman skeleton over there. And please, whatever you do, turn off displacement. <laughs> and I hope they work on a solution for this. Because when you use displacement, the feet are perfect. I mean, like they really look good and stable but when you turn on uh, when you turn when displacement is enabled there there's no fit sliding but when you turn it off there's a little bit of bounciness and so i'm hoping that this gets uh, resolved so make sure that his uh, displacement is disabled and using metahuman and also using uh, udp and pay attention again to these numbers right here because you're going to see them in the unreal engine once you get there all right so right now as we speak it's actually broadcasting as long as you is playing. So what I've also done is here, I've turned on repeat. Usually it's like that. So just click once and then make it loop. And I've also trimmed the beginning and ending of this. Again, what I normally do is I, I trim, I go to a point like where I want the animation to start. And then I drag this little bar right here. And it gives me the end point, right? And I do the same thing for this bar over here to set the end point. Okay, and then when I play back, it's just gonna loop, all right? So I'll put this in the background for now and go to the Unreal Engine. So go, make sure you bring up Live Link. So under Window and under uh, Virtual Production, make sure that you have Live Link selected and let's bring it up right here. So right now uh, the iPhone is streaming, right? And you can check that off for now. But we wanna add the uh, neuron, the axis neuron streaming. So you remember those numbers we saw? This is exactly what we're looking at right here. Make sure they match. Click OK. And you can actually see the animation has started streaming. And how you know that is uh, this little name right here matches the character's name. And that character's name is usually under, like when you se select uh, like sensor detail, sensor map over here, this is where you find the name. Okay, that makes it easy for you to identify it over here. And also once you get to the blueprint editing. All right, this is streaming. The data is actually coming in right now, but if we do like simulate over here, there's nothing that's gonna be happening. By the way, <laughs> I think we need to turn this one off so it doesn't keep showing up. So that is, uh, I think, Makonde over here. Uh, let me go to render and actor hidden so it doesn't show up again all right let's try that again just uh, simulate all right that's good stop uh all right so we have the data coming in and at some point i'll be able to turn on the face so that we can actually see both of them in action so let's go ahead now move on to the next part all right so with our character selected over here we're gonna go and edit the blueprint click on edit blueprint over here and we're gonna go to the body, click on the body, and let's uh, scroll this over here. And we're gonna look for this skeletal mesh over here. Click on the magnifying glass here to browse where it is. Okay, and let's move this out of the way. And then we're gonna right click on it. And then we're gonna go to create, and you're gonna create an animation blueprint. Okay, and then magically all these things show up. <laughs> so click away. So this is important right now because this is the one we need to double click then. 
And over here, it, well, so it's not representative of what you see here because it's picking up from the common folder. And so what we need to do next is uh, right click in the area over here. There's really nothing, nothing else you touch, but go ahead right in the node editor over here and type in live link pause. That's the one we need, okay? move it over here so you can see it better. Now, this is where that streaming part is important because if it wasn't streaming and it wasn't connected, you wouldn't be able to pick it here, okay? So we are not picking this one, we're picking the one that we actually identified in Axis Neuron over here. So select that one, and then we're gonna drag and connect this part, and then you're gonna compile. And guess what? <laughs> Something funny happens over here, but no worries that we can, we're gonna fix that. Select the link, live link pause over here. So uh, <laughs> that should be like a meme of some kind, the head floating off in the distance. So go over to the retarget asset over here, drop down, and we're gonna use the MetaHuman uh, live link remap pause. That's the one we created. Click on that, compile, and magic happened. So there's our character, the data is streaming in nicely. So we're actually good to go now. And you know what's imp also impressive is the fingers are being fixed on this new skeleton. Let me see if I can rotate all the way around so you can see. You know, that, uh, a number of you who have the Perception Run Studio mock-up suit, you would complain about the fingers <laughs> not looking great, but they've actually fixed them now. That's why the skeleton addition is really, really uh, a much need, like a welcome update, right? So don't worry about the sleeves looking like that. That th th This is just a, a display issue over here. So I'm gonna save that because I don't want to keep doing that again. Um, right now, if I were to move this over here and our character is uh, selected, Okay, and we go back to BP over here, the name of my character. And on the body right here, if we move this panel over here and under the animation mode, if we select animation blueprint, which is what you need, and under the drop down, we're gonna use the meta human base skeleton animation blueprint. Okay, and it's not gonna, actually you can see it right, right there. So go ahead and compile. And so the animation now is coming through to the our meta human, but it's not gonna play back like instantly. You, on, you have to go to simulate to see it, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So you can actually see the, uh, the mockup data coming in from Axis Neuron coming through, but there's a better way right, without having to use a simulate. You can actually go to the top level over here. And we're gonna add a live link, live link skeletal animation, like that, like so. Click on it. Once it's created, it's gonna be like, uh, select as if you want to rename, but click away, click on it again. And then over here on events, we're gonna click on live link update, click one time. It's gonna create a new node over here. Compile, save, and guess what? Now you don't have to press simulate. It's just gonna be right there, okay? So we can go ahead and rotate our character, our meta human, and there he is animating properly with improved hands. That is so, so cool. And again, as uh, most of you may not, uh, who may not know, this is again <laughs> an, uh, an F, like a, I try to create, recreate myself as a meta human. Uh, it's not exactly matching my, the way I look, but it's like, it's close enough. So now I have like a meta human version that I, that I can use, but look at the hands and how much improved they are, yes? And so now I can go ahead and with our meta human selected and enable the iPhone. Uh, let's go back to live link over here. Uh, turn on the iPhone right there. So that's the one that uh, is gonna be transmitting the, the data and minimize that. 
for this one we need to simulate so let's go ahead and simulate <laughs> All right, so for the facial animation, unfortunately, well, no, not unfortunately, but you need to enable simulate. While well, the mockup data is just working fine. So this is essentially VTubing right now. So if this were like a live session, uh, I would be uh, wearing the mockup suit and the character would be doing exactly what I want him to do. But that, this is a quick tutorial again, guys, how to use the new meta humans uh, to, li to stream live uh, from Axis into the Unreal Engine 5, and I'm able to actually use the Live Link Face app, iOS app, and my iPhone 10 um, over here, and I'm able to combine both the body and the facial animation um, as a test. So I hope this is helpful, guys, and I, I hope uh, this, uh, I mean, I'm, first of all, I'm grateful to the Neutrum team for hearing us and listening to their, client, their customers. This is very, very helpful. So thank you again for joining me, guys. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell when you're, so that you're alerted when I post a new video. And I want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I hope that uh, you guys can consider becoming a patron. Much appreciation for your support. And again, today, just a quick recap. We're looking at Axis Neuron, the new update this two version 2.8 and i'm hoping that if you're looking at this in the future there will be a better version by then but uh, they've added a new feature where you're able to use a, a new skeleton for retargeting the meta humans and i use there's a, there are other tutorials that i've created in the past but this is a new way of doing it so if you're looking for the most current way of doing it and i, I don't know in the future it may actually be a different way but for now this is the solution that we have so thank you again so much for joining me. And as always, always guys, never give up on your dream. Dare to dream big. I'm always praying for you. Stay safe. Much love and bye for now.